Hi Pisces, I hope that you're all doing well today. Welcome to your bonus reading. Thank you guys so much again for always being so incredibly supportive, so wonderful, so thoughtful, so kind, so caring. If I could take every beautiful descriptive word that exists and apply it to you, that's what I would do. <laughs> all right, you guys. Please note their general messages. They won't resonate for everybody. So please just take what does and leave the rest. If you'd like a personal reading that is specific to your situation, please go ahead and email me or book online there. Um, you can find the link to my website in the description box below. So that being said, let's get into this for you. I've already shuffled because I just wanted to get it done and meditate a little bit on the cards prior to actually doing the reading and your situation in the recent past was the king of cups so in the past position with that king of cups energy in a general context you could have been dealing with somebody who's um it could have been a compassionate male or compassionate masculine energy or you took on that energy, someone who was calm and caring, friendly, could have been very sympathetic and wise and tolerant, diplomatic, balanced, affectionate, romantic, caring, charming, devoted, family-oriented, generous, someone who was easygoing, could have been a married man or is a married man, uh, usually someone who's a uh, good husband, partner, father, all right, someone who's loyal, faithful, maybe even a spiritual guide or a counselor of some sort. You could very well be a counselor of some sort and helping others. It can indicate that you found a balance between your mind and your heart. Um, perhaps you learned to control your emotions and to find the wisdom to accept the things that you couldn't change. So you gained a deeper level of emotional maturity. Maybe you became more calmer or more sympathetic to others or more tolerant. Um, maybe you got in touch more with your emotion and your creativity or your artistic ability and your intuition, but more in a balanced form. And again, if you were dealing with a person, that person was a good listener, diplomatic and easygoing, or you. Someone who gives sound advice and also acts as a calming influence in their lives. Um, this person doesn't tend to have a lot of enemies, but if they do, it's usually to do with jealous types. Maybe they were the type of person who lacked the drive to pursue material wealth as they're more focused on the emotional side of life. This is someone who also is very family orientated. So could be a water sign such as Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, all right? So if you're in a relationship with someone, then this is definitely describing the person that you're in a relationship with or it describes you. And usually the relationship uh, speaks to being a good partner, a good parent, someone who was very loving, uh, someone who brought a lot of emotional fulfillment. Petty arguments should have been at a minimum and romance and affection should have been abundant, right? If you were single, it signals that maybe in the recent past you've met someone that has the attributes of what I basically described. So your present situation, beautiful, you have the six of wands. The card just before the six of wands is the five of wands. So the five of wands usually speaks to inner conflict. But now you're at the six of wands, which would make sense, especially with this king of cups energy, stating that you've balanced out your emotions, and you're coming from a loving place or whoever it is that you're dealing with is coming from a very loving place. 
This card speaks to success, victory, winning, having the advantage, triumph, achievement, praise, acclaim, awards, recognition, applause, goodwill, maybe even fame or celebrity, fans, well-wishers, supporters, crowds, being in the spotlight, maybe riding high or being a leader. It also speaks to stability and strength and confidence and self-esteem, pride, sharing victories, or even a campaign trail of some sort, if some of you are in the public eye. Um, so yeah, it represents victory and winning, achievement and having the advantage. Uh, the praise and acclaim and awards and recognitions should be coming along. It's a minor arcana um, of fame and celebrity and fans, well-wishers, all right? so. You should be feeling very confident in this situation, or if this is the person that you've met in the recent past, they might be putting you on a pedestal. If you're in a relationship, it's a great omen signifying that, you know, there's stability and strength in sharing your success and that both you and the person that you're dealing with should be riding high and achieving the goals together. It also signifies being very supportive of each other and sharing the victories and being proud of the relationship. And if single, your dream partner is about to enter your life. Maybe you recently met them and now you're starting to realize that they wanna be with you as well. Okay? So that's quite beautiful. Not only that, but even in a career sense, it's a great omen because you may have won a promotion or maybe you're getting a new job or possibly even successfully completed a project that produced great results. And if you're in business, it would definitely see you achieving a great level of success. So keep going, or that could be the individual that you're dealing with. All right, enjoy the moment, but don't let it get to your head. And that could be something that you're dealing with in terms of somebody else, maybe, maybe all of the attention is starting to make someone very egoic, if you will. They're, they're getting stuck in their um, egos. If you're dealing with a person and you're wondering what their thoughts are on this whole situation, the high priestess has come out. She's come out to play. This is you. <laughs> Pisces. So they're thinking about you. This card speaks to desirability, all right? Or maybe someone who's a little unattainable or someone who's a little bit mysterious, someone who's definitely sensual, someone who's definitely as well got a lot of spirituality in them, has a thirst for knowledge, um, also deals with the subconscious. So maybe you're able to see through them and they notice that. But it also speaks to being in connection with your higher power and your creative side. All right. Someone who's also very psychic. And I think that they see that you can trust your instincts and that you go with your gut feeling. Also, pay attention to any dreams or, or um, the signs and symbols that the universe is sending you when this card appears, all right? Because that's good to know. Next, we have. The Empress, which is representing what the person you're dealing with or whomever it is that you're thinking about, what they think of you. The Empress is such a beautiful card and it speaks to pregnancy or fertility or motherhood, sensuality, nurturing, creativity, beauty, femininity, nature, harmony, art. They could see you as a very artistic individual, but they might even look at you as um, a maternal figure, right? Somebody who gives birth to ideas, gives birth to um, whatever it is that they put their hand to. You may be good with children. They may think that you're good with children. They may think that you're everything that they want in a partner. All right, so that's what the person that you're dealing with thinks of you, which is beautiful. 
How do they feel about you? Well, the tower. <laughs> I don't feel that this is a negative tower. I feel more or less like they feel that you're going through some change and maybe it's unexpected change, but it's a good change. So they're seeing you possibly building up your life. And I say that because of that Empress card back here and also the Six of Wands. Your whole life is going to change as you know it. And I think that that's how they're feeling is they're seeing that change and they're wanting to build a connection with you that is on a firm foundation as opposed to destruction or chaos or dishonesty. Some of you may even have a, a revelation. This person may have had a revelation of you just recently. And I say that because your next card that comes out is the judgment card. And this card is what they want from you, whoever this person is that you're dealing with. So they want judgment. I think they're wanting you to make a decision. I think that they're wanting a renewal in this situation. And I say that because this tower, maybe even you're at a different point in this connection where it's starting to change and there's a renewal. But again, it's about decisiveness. Or maybe somebody wants forgiveness. If they cause some upheaval at all, I feel like they're definitely wanting some forgiveness regarding whatever may have taken place. Maybe they just said something or, or did something that made you feel less than loved and they didn't mean for that to happen. But they definitely want a decision here. And I think the decision is to be together. They want a renewal though. I'm really getting this sense of renewal. And I just feel like there's, there's moving into a new beautiful stage in a connection for some of you. And this could even just be in life, right? What you need to know about this person, Five of Pentacles. They could be dealing with financial struggles right now, all right? So that could really cause them to be unloving sometimes or not so attentive to your needs. They could be feeling rejected by you. This card is about temporary financial hardships or a negative change in circumstances, or maybe they feel left out in the cold. Um, maybe they feel like the world is against them or they're just dealing with some adversities or struggles or some hardships or some bad luck right now. It even speaks to homelessness or poverty or unemployment or financial ruin. Some might be worried about bankruptcy or uh, maybe they feel like an outcast or alienation. Some of them could be dealing with illness or divorce or breakups or some scandals of some sort. But I think that they are afraid in this connection of being rejected. All right. So continuing on, let's get you some advice. Your advice card is the Queen of Swords. Ooh. Now, depending on how you're showing up, I think that what Spirit is telling you is be honest and truthful. Also be candid, but protective of yourself. Uh, you may be independent, chatty, communicative. You could be witty, funny, principled, fair. Um, construct maybe you offer constructive criticism or they're trying to offer constructive criticism that you might do well to take or listen to, depending on your situation. But it also speaks to being strong, quirky, realistic, objective, and also discerning and someone who's a problem solver. You may be being too skeptical in this situation or not skeptical enough. I think it's about maintaining your self-reliance, but also being open-minded, okay? If you're dealing with some repressed pain or sadness because you've been through a lot of hard knocks in life, it's telling you to 
um, really take good care of yourself. Draw those inner boundaries with that sword to stop negative thinking. All right. So whenever negative thoughts come up or if someone tries to pull you into an argument, just don't let it happen. You could be dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You could be dealing with Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You have Pisces here as well. But always remain principled and fair. And I think that that's what you're doing here, which is spirit giving you a nod to keep doing what you're doing. So what I see in the near future as your outcome is the eight of wands that's exciting the eight of wands speaks to hastiness and speed progress movement action rushing exciting times travel freedom maybe even you're going to go on a holiday or you might meet somebody because it also uh talks about holiday romances taking off um but things are going to definitely gain momentum Maybe something's going to change suddenly, which would make sense with this tower card, depending on the connection that you're in. But also, I think you're going to see some results of being very fair and diplomatic in this situation with whomever you're dealing with. All right? I think it's absolutely beautiful. You're going to find some solutions. You should be feeling more energetic and positive. Um... You might even be swept off your feet, okay? So you got good things that are coming. Whatever, like I said before, whatever you turn your hand to at the moment will definitely take off at great speed and gain momentum. And it's going to make you happy. So that's an incredible outcome for you guys, all right? So whomever you're dealing with, whatever this situation is, things are going to come together. If you're the one that's experiencing this financial hardship, do not worry, do not fret, because it's a temporary situation. And you've got the control over it. I think, too, that some of you are very smart. So if, if say, things break down or whatever be the case, maybe you've put some money away for a rainy day, which is good because you may need it in the near future just for little things to get fixed around the house and home. But your career should be taking off. Things should be in a really good place right now. And it's about a decision. So whatever decision it is that you're needing to make, Queen of Swords, use your intellect. And honestly, I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised with all of the speed and the change that is coming in a connection with someone else. Okay? All right, Pisces. I hope you enjoyed your bonus reading, and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. I shall see you again soon. Bye.